hey guys, we just shot our video on Facebook Live and we show you the difference between tumbled and raw blanks. What is the difference? You can find out. <laughs> and we also show you how to take the raw ones and smooth out the edges. Mm -hmm. Talk about lots of tools, lots of techniques, it's good times. But remember, if you're watching this on YouTube, give us a like below, leave a comment if you have a question, and maybe consider subscribing. Good plan? All right, let's get to it. Check it out. Here are, this guy is tumbled. I'm gonna to try to deal with the reflections because it's kind of hard to see. Mm -hmm. This guy is raw, so this guy comes with plastic on both sides. I just wanted to show you that. And when you remove it, some of our blanks come with this on one side, some of it come on no side, some of it come on two sides. It just depends on the vendor. Mm -hmm. So just check out the product description and sometimes the title and we tell you that. Holy moly, I can on camera see the difference. Yeah, that's you can drastic. really see it when you look at the, um, the mm -hmm. edge, right? Mm -hmm. Like this is pretty raw and that's really shiny. And mm -hmm. that really shows you what tumbling with stainless steel shot and some burnishing liquid or some shine liquid actually will... Um, the difference that it'll do. Mm -hmm. What you can't really see on camera is that, well, maybe you can if we look at that I angle. See, that there. see there's a yeah. little like edge. Mm -hmm. It's not going to hurt anything, but it's not awesome. This one, it's not there. Well, it's a little bit of an edge there that you can see it, but it's soft. It's not sharpened like that. So it brought it down. These are the exact same blanks. This one's tumbled, this one's not. Mm -hmm. It brought it down a little bit and softened it. Mm -hmm. The only thing you need to really think about with um, tumbling these blanks, let's see if I can get a good angle, is when you take the plastic off of the aluminum, it has like a little bit of texture that's not a big deal. The camera's really showing it more than you would see it, but it looks all perfect and there's no scratches. After tumbling, like the oh. tumbling stuff kind of scratches up the metal. This is a really, really soft metal. Yes. So don't be worried if you see like tiny scratches like that because your next step after um, polishing is a pro polish pad and it actually pulls them out really really well mm -hmm. so that's just what you have to run into having it being tumbled but it's such a more finished look mm -hmm. so some people prefer these because they don't have to do any work and they just punch the hole stamp it polish it they're done some people prefer these because it's a little more it's a little Less expensive. expensive. So anyway, there you have those two. The other one you can really see it in is this is um, one of our ring blanks. Mm -hmm. And it's really soft on the edges. This has been tumbled. And then this is not a ring blank. It's a rectangle, but it's close to size. So I grabbed it. This is one of our 18 gauge. Around the back, you, it might be a little scratchy because it doesn't have the plastic. But this, these scratches are not a big deal. A pro polish pad just pulls them right out. Mm -hmm. But on the front, um, you can peel this off and you see it's all like beautiful and that's the beauty of the plastic. But again, it's the minute you put it on, my hands are greasy, the minute you put it on or the minute you, you know, touch it, it starts to get those baby scratches. So you can just kind of decide. Now here, it's a little bit sharp. Mm -hmm. Again, you guys can't really tell, but... Will you pass me a pro polish pad so I can show? Is there one? Oh, there's one right there by my coffee cup. Oh, yeah. So let me just give this a little quick buff in case you're like, you're a liar, Lisa. Those scratches don't come out. What are you talking about? Oh, I feel like on aluminum, they absolutely yeah. do. See the difference? Yeah. yeah. I think on aluminum, my favorite thing to do is to steel wool it a little bit because then when you do get the inevitable scratch, yeah. you're not going to see it. Yeah, that's, that's a really good point. So I took some blanks. Again, this comes tumbled. We buy them. We sell it to you tumbled. It will say in the product. This one doesn't. But I took a couple of our blanks. Again, I just put on lotion so it's like leaving gunk couple over these. <laughs> I took this um, plaque. Mm -hmm. And this is one that I just took the plastic off, but you can kind of, let's see if you can see it. There's very like, pen, very, very pen, pen, yeah. Where it's a little bit sharp. Yeah. And this one I tumbled for an hour. That's mm -hmm. it. With the stainless steel shot. This, the edge is slightly there. Again, this isn't going to like remove a whole bunch of metal, but it softens it. Like mm -hmm. you can hardly even see it and you definitely can't touch it. You can't feel it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the only thing, again, is you might get, let's see if I can, you know, that one didn't even get very scratched up. Again, the top one has been tumbled. It really didn't. You're right. Um, so you can tumble it yourself if you have a tumbler. Mm -hmm. I just did an hour, but you could do longer. 
um, let's see, what else did I do? I oh, did... really? Now, with a, I suppose with a soft metal like this, if you did it, forget and keep it in there a couple hours, it's no big deal. No, it's no big deal at all. I would just, some people are having trouble with aluminum turning gray, and I've the only thing I've really tracked that to is their shot isn't clean. So oh. make sure you've cleaned your shot when you received it. If you buy it from us, it comes with instructions on how to do that. And just ke just check your water every 10 minutes and if it's really dark then change it because oh, that's okay. what the that's what I feel like the issue is so these hearts again let's turn it to the side because that's where you can really see the difference this mm -hmm. one was tumbled and this one no this one was tumbled and this one was not they're so small you can barely see yeah that one's tougher to see for but sure. this one is sharp trust me oh and this yeah, one yeah, has been that... softened oh yeah actually you can see them when you put them down like that more yeah, yeah. so that's what the scoop is. The only other thing to talk about is it's harder to tumble big ones because they start to stick together mm. in the tumbling solution. Um, mm. In fact, that heart stuck to the bottom of the barrel. So um, I'm just feeling it here, and this is a little sharper, and that one's a little smoother. Mm -hmm. Actually, these both are tumbled. One, This is one that I tumbled and one that we got tumbled. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have a blank with a bit of an edge. Let's see. Here's a non-tumbled one. I'm going to use this guy. I use a variety of things. You can just use a regular file and really quick. This is if you don't have a tumbler. Or I really like our sanding sticks and we're going to have a link up there for you. For the sanding sticks, I'm just going to come on the edge, mm -hmm. or I come this way. Now, with a file, you want to move this direction. Sanding, you can go any way you want. This is just sandpaper, basically. So I come right on the edge, or you can do it this way, and pull that off. Try not to go too far on the edge, because then you end up scratching part of the blank. Oh, yeah, I see that. I don't know if you can see it there, but Melinda, will you prove to them? Touch this part right there. Soft. Ooh, very soft. And now that part. Ouch! I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there was definitely a difference. But I, I, I mean, you can wear it without having also filed it, you guys, or tumble it. Yeah, for sure. But mm -hmm. I mean, this is... It's just a nice polished way to do it. This is going to take me all of that much time. What was that, 15 seconds? Yeah, that was good. So this is really, really soft. It's taking the edge off. Now, if I did that and then tumbled it, whoa. Holy smoke. But you can also just, you know, this is good to go now. It's shiny, it's soft. I learned this when I took a metalsmithing class at the Revere Academy in San Francisco, which is no longer around, but it was just the premier, premier. Alan Revere has a bunch of classes or books and he's just amazing. So if you have a sanding stick and you've run out, like it's used up, it's not doing anything anymore, mm -hmm. or if you just have a regular stick, you can just add sandpaper to it. Oh. Um, and here's how I do it. I've got some tape here. I'm just going to use some thin tape. I'm just going to do this really quick so everybody can get back to their day. This is such a smart idea. I know, isn't it great? Mm -hmm. so, you can do it to a ruler. Yeah, you can do it to anything. I'm just taping it on right there like that, right? And now I'm going to fold it on like this. That's great. I love that. I think I might even use duct tape on the initial one, right? Because I'll get everything the, other, the The beginning one actually isn't as important because now it's tucked in there. Sure. This one this one is more important. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time getting the tape perfect because mm, there's my little edge. There it is. I guess you could use painter's tape too. Yeah. I used this because it was thin and I don't, I want to be able to use both sides of this so mm -hmm. I don't want it to be like covered in tape. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's just a rough tape job. I would try to get it more on the edge so I can use both sides. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, you've got a sanding stick here, right? Do, 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 do. Now the beautiful thing is, after you've used a it's bunch all, of it, it's all worn out. Yeah, you come and untape it and just unroll it with scissors, or just tear that off, retape it, and oh, you still yeah. have. That's a good idea. This will last a really long time. So I do this on my sanding sticks. We sell packs of sandpaper, but this is you can also get it at a hardware store. Um, I do this on my sanding sticks for like medium to light because that seems to be the ones I use the most. Mm -hmm. I would tape it back on, and then you see you've got like a bunch of different rolls to get through. Smart. Fun tip of the day.
Love it. All right, you guys, if you have questions and you're watching the replay, just leave them in the comments. And if it's in the next week or so, we'll get to it. If it's after that, you can email us and we'll get back to you. Cool? Thanks for tuning in, cool, you guys. Cool, All right, thanks. Bye.